did it. Did you do all of them? Yeah. What does that say? Um, kangaroo. No, that says Joey. Joey. Uh, what is Joey? Joey is a baby kangaroo. J M O N E and Y. Good job. What's next? It's a baby. Tiger. And what's it called? Um, baby. Cub. Cub. A baby tiger is called what? Cub. Spell it. Um, C U D. C U. -B. Look at it. C U what? P. Mm -hmm. Um, B, B. B. B, yeah, B. Good job. She's trying to talk so much. So PJ got the bright idea. Look at me. To wait, what? I don't even know what we're doing. PJ just threw this wig on me and said he wants to cut it. It's an ugly wig, and I want to cut it to be like a cute wig. <laughs> okay. See what happens when you've been quarantined for two weeks in your house. This My is, roots are showing. This is Meryl Streep's wig from. Um, Season two of Big Little Lies on HBO. Okay. Don't ask why we have it. Oh no! Did I just rip it? Oh, you ruined it. <laughs> it's your fault. And there you have it. Back to being short brown hair. I need to shower. So me and sis have been in the kitchen. And we cooked dinner. I made a baked spaghetti, but I did it with like a Italian sausage and then an Italian sausage meat sauce with some French bread. Thomas is currently working on a new video that has already went live. His birthday video. Our room is a disaster. Well, the downstairs bedroom. It's turned into a storage room. Dinner's ready. Food. What kind of... Answers that. Meryl's face looks so funny right now. <laughs> we'll come and see. What on earth? Did you just whip this up? I've only been here for 30 minutes. Spaked, spaked spaghetti. Spaked. No. <gasps> well, it's actually. Yeah, I already went through that. Oh my goodness. It smells and looks delicious. Mmm. Thomas. What? I, I want a, a silver fork. Okay. A silver fork. Well, I want a fork. Yeah. <laughs> a fork. Whoa. Mm. Really hot. Ma, a purple fork. You can have a silver one like a big boy. Nope. Oh, puppies. Puppies asleep. Hey guys, on the count of three, let's all get all of our feelings out, okay? And we're going to scream as loud as we can. One, two, three. So it's almost bedtime for the kiddos. They're upstairs. They have been so rowdy today, which is so understandable because it's been rainy and dreary all day. They haven't been able to go outside. We, well, I don't want to say we. I want to say PJ turned on the news today and has been watching it all day. And I feel like that's really taking a toll on how you're feeling. What made you decide to turn the news on today? Mm. <laughs> you don't know? We've been pretty good about not watching the news as much. And then they just reported that there were 780 plus new deaths today, which is the most in one day. <clears throat> oh. 
Come on, sis. Let's go brush our teeth. Yeah. <gasps> what? I can. You want to what? I can. You want to watch Wreck It Ralph? No, he did. Okay. Well, come on. Let's go. Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Bye, Susie. He's downstairs. Oh. Alright, so. Oh, I want to read this book. This book is called Hippos Go Berserk. Yeah, right here. Yeah. You leaving your money right there? Okay, good and idea. You got your money. My money yes, here. and you can get it when you wake up in the morning. Yep. Yeah, my little bra. Yes. What? My money's in the bra. Well, you can get it in the morning. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Yeah, it is a very cold morning. We're getting the camera set up because PJ is about to teach us a tick. Do you know it? You know the dance or no? Perfect. He's about to teach us a TikTok. Here we go. So I just did my first TikTok. That's not true. Well, you don't let me finish. My first TikTok oh. in months. Or did we do one? My first dance TikTok in months. So basically, I'm going to be dancing with the stars here very soon. I am a pro dancer. You can see what we're talking about right here. And now I'm going to run off and join a dance troupe. Sorry, PJ. Okay. Do it. We are getting lunch ready for the kids, then it's quiet time for them, and probably dance time for PJ. Learning some new moves. I did a TikTok last night, and I was learning a new dance, and I fell on my butt. I heard it. I was sitting right here in this chair, and PJ was right here. You can't hear it in that video. <laughs> but in real life, it was this huge thud and it scared the crap out of me. Luckily, no one was hurt while making the video. So a few people have asked why I've been wearing hats lately. It's kind of a long story. So, take us, it. yeah, take us from the beginning. Over a year ago, we were contracted to do a trip to Australia in February of this year. So we knew that was in the works. This was before we started fostering, so it was before we had the kids. As you guys know, we got the kids. They ended up going to family after we had them for a month, but then two or three months later, we got the kids back. It started to look like we were going to have the kids for a while. Well, we got the kids in November, and I knew that we had the trip coming up and I was really starting to stress out about knowing that we were gonna have to leave the kids for two weeks. Because I was getting stressed out, I started pulling out my hair, which is something that I've always done, but I've never, usually when I pull my hair out, it's like one to two days and then I stop doing it. But there's two things that I do when I am very anxious. I scratch my arms is one thing, or I pull out my hair. And in this case, I was pulling out my hair and instead of it lasting like one or two days, it lasted for months. So I started pulling my hair out in November because I was stressed about thinking about leaving the kids. And then when it finally came down to it, we found out that the contract had not been signed yet. For us to have to go to Australia, we were able to back out of the trip last minute. So that kind of relieved my stress. And then I stopped pulling my hair maybe a week and then the pandemic happened. And when that happened, I was like, now's the time. We're going to be home. I'm going to shave my head so I don't pull my hair out anymore. 
So it's been maybe three weeks since I've shaved it, right? I shaved it right when it was like... I think about two weeks. Two weeks. So my, my hair has still not grown in all the way from where I pulled it because I pulled from the front. But what is the term? Uh, trichotillomania. Trichotillomania. So I definitely have it because I was reading the signs of what people do that have that. And I do a lot of them. Like when I pull my hair out, I'll rub it across my lips, which is so strange. I don't know why I do that. I don't know why it's a symptom, but it is a symptom and it is something that I did. So that's why I have been wearing hats a lot. Not that I don't like shaved heads. It's just, I'm not used to seeing myself with a shaved head. So it's like having to get used to it. I like wearing hats anyways. So yeah, so my hair is slowly growing back. But you know, I, and I've said this before, I like that you realized what you were doing and you took the measures to take control of it. You see, I don't know, honestly, I don't know that I could have shaved my head had everything not happened. When I was like in the mindset of shaving my head, I was just like, we're gonna be home for a while. I'm not gonna have to see anybody, but it's really a, it's a tough like situation to be in because it's one of those things where, like I would tell my, I started keeping track of it in January because it was a new year's resolution to stop doing it. And so like each day I would keep track of how many hairs I pulled out and I would put a tally mark on the chalkboard If I see it on the board and I know how many I'm pulling out, it'll help me stop. But then it got to the point where it was like 15, 20 hairs a day. And so I finally, I just stopped doing that. And that's when I decided to shave my head. It's crazy because it's something that I knew I was doing, but I couldn't stop doing it. Like I just couldn't. And it was mainly like when we would find ourselves sitting down, like if I was sitting down watching TV or like drinking coffee or on the computer, I would start playing with my hair and then I would just start pulling it out. It's so strange, but hopefully by shaving it, it'll like restart my brain so I don't do it when my hair grows back out. So that's why I've been wearing hats the last three weeks. So if you guys have ever suffered with that or know people that have suffered with that and know what you can do to get past doing that or try to overcome it, let me know because I'm still working through it. Right now I'm just shaving my head. So, well, I'm proud of you for sharing. Thanks. I am. I'm proud of you for doing what you can and to bring awareness to it and share it because I know it wasn't easy and it's something that we're dealing with and I'm proud of you. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. This is what quarantine life has come to. In my Birkenstocks, with my socks, drinking my coffee on the back deck while the kiddos slide down the slide that PJ brought over from the rental house that the previous renters left. This is life right now. So dinner is ready. Tonight we're having a taco salad casserole courtesy of my sister. She sent me a recipe that she made actually last night on Pinterest. We had all the ingredients except for cream of chicken soup. So instead, I used sour cream. Yeah, I guess we could have used that, huh? I just farted. I heard. So we're taking a much needed evening walk. I keep hearing reports or maybe I'm reading something that's saying that pretty soon, or in some places, you can't even like get out and walk. 
Is that true? I don't know. I think the situation in Australia is you can only get out for four main reasons. I think a walk is one of them. So we're trying to get out at least once a day if it's pretty before we can't do it anymore. I don't know if it'll ever come to that. I'm hoping it doesn't because these walks are very much needed, especially when you've been cooped up all day and it's raining. So yeah, we're over here at the new, new flip house. That's what we're calling it, right? The new, new flip house. The new, new. The new, new. It's a uh, brisk evening. So we're gonna finish the walk and then go home, do baths and go to bed. I'm sorry, here, all better. I think one of the feathers poked her. Oh, are you asleep? Yeah. So it is nine o'clock. We are currently live chatting with all of you guys and we're vlogging about it. Oh my gosh. So everybody say hi. Um, I love when PJ does this Inception style vlogging when he vlogs us talking oh, to wait, you is guys it about frozen? our vlog. I don't know. I don't know if you guys, it's frozen on our screen, but maybe it's not frozen for you. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>